they got us practice gone, gone this week uh, in preparation for what's supposed to be a high-powered Texas Tech squad. Yeah, no, it's been great. It's been awesome weather, too. So that's helped, you know, with the, the speed we've had to practice at because of the no-huddle offense. So the guys are excited, excited to play a night game at home, excited to, uh, you know, play against a Big 12 opponent that has the same record as we do. And, and obviously they're coming off a, a very spirited overtime win as well. So we know we got a great team coming to town. Everybody talks about their offense. Is, is their defense pretty stout? Yeah. I mean, they have, if you look at the 11 starters, 10 of them are either seniors or graduates. So they're very old. They're experienced. They're long. Um, previous coaching staff, who I know as well, I thought they recruited well. You know, Coach McGuire's done a great job with these guys, but he inherited some nice body types. They're long. Their D-line's got a lot of guys that they can play and rotate. Their backers are fast. Both corners are over 6'2". So, yeah, that's a formidable bunch. It's going to be a great challenge. From your experience, how valuable is that experience going to a night game, road game, mm -hmm. I think, for the first time in the season, just being able to lean on those kind of guys? Say that again? Say, from your experience as a coach, how valuable is it to have a bunch of experienced guys when you go in your first road game of the season? And, and well, we're playing at home. I'm, not you. I'm talking about Tech, from Texas on Tech. The I'm, I'm sorry. From Texas Tech standpoint. Okay. From your standpoint, I mean, how valuable is it to have a, an experienced team? Here? Yeah, I mean, anytime you got guys that have been there, done that, it helps. You know, the nerves aren't going to be the same as for a guy that's never been on the road playing in a hostile environment. So, they got an experienced football team. This is obviously not the first time they've played in front of fans. What have you worked on specifically with Devin Leary this week? What have you told him to try and improve on? You know, every week it's based on the defense we're playing, on, on the things that he's you know going to have to focus on. I'm not going to tell you what our game plan is, you know. So each week there's little things that you see on tape with every player on our team, uh, no different than the quarterback, the O-line, the D-line. And for Devin, there's certain things he wants to do better, and he focuses on those things. Is Texas, is Texas Tech the type of offense where you wanted to go to a, a three-man line to, to shift from your 4-3, then 4-2-5? Yeah, I think the 3-3-5 three, three, um, allows you to do more things in coverage because when you play some of these up-tempo spread teams, you know, as you know, there's more plays in space. It allows you to get more bodies there faster uh, to make those plays and still be able to defend the run game, as you've seen with our statistics and defense. So I think this type of offense also, you know, years prior to the switch, you know, we'd be first or second in the league in rushing defense and eighth or ninth in pass defense, not because we didn't have good corners, because they were on their own a lot. I just feel like in this defense, you have the ability to help outside when there's matchups that you worry about against the Clemsons and Louisvilles and such that, you know, Florida State always has a draft pick at wideout. It gives you the ability to stop somebody, not just with a one-on-one -on -one matchup. How for for you personally, were you a little energized learning from Coach Gibson? Um, yeah, I love to learn. I mean, I, I'm always learning. I'm always studying other people. Um, I watch NFL film um, at least once a week at night just to try to find new things, you know. So that was something back when I was a GA at Drake University. I mean, we studied football all the time and have always carried that with me. So when you bring a new coach in, Tony, uh, in this case, brought 335 ideas in. We were 425 at the time. We were all learning from him, and he was learning from us, and we were trying to blend the two things with, you know, the systems we had. And, and so same thing when Joker came in, Tim came in, Coach Garrison, there's always just some new ideas. And it's not just football. Sometimes it's how you practice or schedule or off-season program. How much does defensive experience help even when it's a team you don't see every year? Mm -hmm. But the, the concepts and the, the reps and the snaps these guys have got. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I can't do for these players is make them more experienced, right? I can do everything else. I can help them get stronger. I can do motivational things with them. I can feed them better. I can get them more rest.